I'm back. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> right here. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you can't tell, we are not in my usual filming spot. We're in my bathroom! That's right. Uh, today's video uh, is gonna be pretty simple. I'm gonna take you on a tour of my tiny bathroom. Tour is done. I did a tour of my apartment to show all the things that I got secondhand um, when I moved here. And then I did a video about my favorite sustainable swaps. And some of them were bathroom things, like three or four, three, I don't, does it matter? No. But I figured why not dive into my bathroom, <laughs> get it? And go through all the things in here that are um, sustainable brands I like, things that I got secondhand for my bathroom. But I thought it'd be nice. But it's gonna be quick, this is gonna be easy. Uh, I'll make sure to be to list all of the brands that I'm talking about below in the description. And also I'll put stuff on screen. You know how I do, I like to do little kind of graphics. We'll do some of those. Keep it simple, keep it light. I also wanna point out that this lighting is terrible. But let's get started. Uh, I think we'll start behind the curtain, the blue curtain. Uh, so one thing is that I've had this blue oil curtain, uh, my best friend Alex got it for me probably in like 2018. That's my best guess. So I've had it for like three years and I don't plan on um, ever getting rid of it. So uh, get yourself the shower curtain that you'll want to keep forever. All right. Oh, it's loud. Oh, I also wanted to point out things that I have that aren't sustainable. They're just regular products that I just haven't found a solution for or couldn't or in like the case of a shower liner, I just needed a new shower liner. But I'd say like 75% of the products I use are, are from sustainable brands that I really like. So first one's gonna be familiar. How's the lighting in the shower? It's great. But I have my shampoo and body wash. These, if you saw my sustainable swap video, I love because they smell really good. These are a brand uh, called Atique. Highly recommend. Uh, great bar soap, really great shampoo bar. Also from them, I've got uh, this scrub, face scrub that I use on occasion. Um, and it's like got the gritty exfoliator. Um, a thing about face wash with the exfoliants, make sure you're not getting ones with microbeads because Microbeads are literally just tiny pieces of plastic and they end up in the ocean. So that's like a, a very hard to no-no. Um, so this is a good uh, replacement for an exfoliant. And I don't know what's in it that's, that's the scrubby part, but I'll put it right here. That's what's in it. Anyway, uh, if you watched my sustainable swap video, watch it. But uh, I also talk about um, how I don't like conditioner bars, but I have conditioner concentrate and I actually I have one I can show you. So this is what the conditioner concentrate comes in. It's like a little box. And, oh, apparently I started to open it. I don't know that I can open this with one hand. Excuse me. I'm back. <laughs> oh God! I'm back. I'm right here. This is what it looks like. You break it into, it's so potent, but still smells so good. You uh, boil water and then you basically break it into tiny pieces and it melts and then it's that conditioner. So I'll probably be in like the next month or so breaking this bad boy out. Anyway, so those are nothing new. Uh, things in here that aren't sustainable uh, but I've had forever. You can tell by this very, I'd say like 90s, 2000s, early 2000s pick uh, that I use when I'm doing my hair, washing my hair. Ow. Washing my hair in the shower. Uh, I've had this forever. And it's also secondhand because I'm pretty sure I stole it from my sister. So, yeah, that's another way. Things that you can use secondhand. I don't, like, if I wanted everything to look nice and sustainable, I guess I could buy a bamboo one. But why? I have this perfectly good one. And every time I wash my hair, I think of my sister. Uh, a thing that is sustainable is it's a natural sponge. Uh, again, for the exfoliant, you know, it's a great one to scrub. This I got at a little local uh, boutique store nearby. Um, so this is for like, you know, the exfoliator. Uh, and then other than that, I just use a washcloth and I've had these washcloths. I got them for Christmas like four years ago or something like that. So no need to buy new ones. Next, these are my razors. So I actually, 
I actually made a video when I first moved here comparing these two razors because this is my last um, like kind of traditional razor head that I have. Um, and then this I had bought a uh, safety razor. Um, I'll put the brand up when I moved here because I was gonna switch over. And I shaved my legs and compared the two. And in terms of like closeness of shave and stuff like that, they're pretty much equal on all accounts. And I thought, you know, it would be a great video to show that they're both, that like it's an easy switch. But to be honest, I cut myself every time I use the safety razor. Um, so I haven't really made the full switch. I also still have the Gillette one that I'm, you know, going to use until I can't use it anymore. But I've just stopped shaving my legs because I don't want to shave with not the safety razor, but if I shave with the safety razor, I injure myself. So if anyone out there has safety razor tips, let me know. I think maybe I'm like pressing too hard and too aggressive, which shouldn't surprise like anyone, but. And then I'll, what else I have in here is shaving cream. I will be switching to like a bar shaving cream or something when this is gone, but I had this from my old apartment, so I'm gonna use it till it's gone and then figure out how to recycle this bottle. But I don't shave that much, so it's gonna last a very long time. Uh, but yeah, any recommendations for shaving cream, uh, let me know. All right, let's get out of my shower. Uh, towel, again, got them for Christmas. No special brand, you don't have a recommendation there. But the one thing I did get is I wanted to get like hand towels that are bigger, you know, you know what a hand towel is. Um, so I got a couple white ones from Goodwill. I got them, I washed them, they're gray hand towels. So my bathroom sink is pretty small, there's not like space, so the only thing on it is uh, bar soap for washing the hands. My mom really loves to gift bar soap and like put it in our stockings for Christmas. So I have just, I don't know where this bar of soap is from other than my mother. So I don't have a brand there, but there's plenty of bar soaps everywhere. So easy one to come by. And then it's in this little soap saver dish um, that is made of bamboo. This one I got at a cute little sustainable, reusable, refillable store um, in Cape Cod. And the only other thing over here is my toothbrush. Uh, this is a bamboo toothbrush, uh, so it uh, has a better end of life than a plastic toothbrush. But this is brush with bamboo, and it's, a, it's just like any other toothbrush, so uh, I recommend it, because brush your teeth. <laughs> anyway, so that's this little corner of the bathroom. Let's uh, go to the toilet. Why not? Hello. Welcome the toilet with me. Uh, there's not a lot going on over here. That's a lie. There's a good amount going on. I think if you were in my bathroom, my um, apartment tour, an easy thing to thrift secondhand is the garbage can. Don't look at, ooh. The garbage is really full, you need to take it out. But there you go. It's just a regular garbage can that I got from Goodwill. Um, but since we're here, let's talk about one of my other favorite brands and it is my toilet paper slash tissues slash paper towel brand. And actually, let me pull out an example. Hi. Uh, it is, it is, <laughs> who gives a crap? Uh, so who gives a crap is a really, really awesome company. Uh, all of their paper products, you, there's options. The ones I get are made from 100% recycled materials. You can all, I think they also have like a bamboo line. They're really great. They come, you can do a subscription. Um, they come in all this cute paper wrapping and I actually, I almost have a problem in that I save it all and then I use it to wrap gifts. But then I also got an order of their tissues, which are just great. I have a very runny nose as soon as it gets a little bit cold. So I am a big tissue fan. I do want to get like um, reusable like handkerchiefs um, this winter. Uh, but one thing I really like about these guys is that they don't have the plastic top, so it's just a cardboard box. Super easy uh, to recycle. Two other things, my toilet bowl cleaner, well I guess two and a half other things, is um, sustainable, no plastic here. And then it didn't come with a holder. I was like, I'm not just gonna put this on the floor. So I put it in this um, plastic container that I have from all of the Indian food that I order, and, like, and I keep all of the containers and it's great for that. It's also, I'm holding it very close to my face. So we're gonna put that back. I got this from my co-op. It's called Ecover. Has plant-based ingredients, biodegradable formula. It's just important to remember that anything you put down drain eventually will find its way back to the ocean. So trying to keep harsh chemicals out of it is a big thing that I try to do. 
And then the other products that I use to clean in here are <coughs> Blue Land. I love Blue Land. I have in here the bathroom cleaner and the um, glass and mirror. Uh, and then I have the, like all multi-surface one that's in the kitchen. These are great if you don't know Blue Land. They're uh, like refillable tablets. So you just put the tablet in with warm water and it dissolves and you have cleaner. And they come in these bottles. They are plastic, but they're a hard plastic and you're, you know, reusing them. Um, and they're great. The bathroom cleaner works really great. I haven't found the com right combination for the glass and mirror and what I have reusable towels that I use on paper towel kind of deals. And they're just not a great combination for glass. So I just need to figure out a better combination. But yeah, so those are Blue Land cleaners. All right, now the last part of this tour is going to be on my little, I call it a vanity, but it's not because there's no mirror. It's just where all my makeup sits. Um, one thing that you will never see from me is a makeup tutorial because um, so there are three new brands that I've been using that I really, really like. Biggest thing is just use your makeup up and use your makeup up until it's gone. And then when it is gone, try some of these new brands. Uh, so what I really like is Ilia. So this is what I use on my face. It's a Super Serum Skin Tint SPF. I like things that are a little bit lighter. Um, this comes, it's got a little, it's a little dirty. It's got a little, little squeegee. It's not the squeegee, that's not the word. But the other brand that I like that I have a lot of makeup from is a Latte Cosmetics. Um, so like this one, for example, is their concealer. Uh, it's really great. This is the second order I've had of it. Um, it comes with a little metal disc with the concealer in it, and in this case, you just keep reusing and refilling. Uh, I got recently got their Better Balm. I, I needed new makeup brushes, and I plan to uh, do better upkeep with these brushes. But I also have the bamboo that I like. So they have a lot of really great products. They all come in like bamboo packaging with the Ilya products. Um, they have a take back program and they'll also take uh, makeup that is containers that are not their brand. And then I'd say the third brand of makeup, I only have a couple things from them, but the main thing is their mascara and it's called Besame. Uh, and this is a mascara cake, mascara, mascara. Um, so it's literally what it looks like is a little, just like pad of mascara. Um, I got this. I'd say almost a year ago, maybe a little less. It's been a long time, but it's lasted forever. Like I don't see myself needing a new one for another year. So those would, I would say are the three brands that I mainly use in terms of new sustainable products. Again, I'm using up a lot of old makeup that I have. A lot of my makeup that I have, you can't see, I have a drawer open of like old makeup that's not sustainable brands, but I'm not gonna get rid of it in case I need to use it. Um, I'll only get rid of it once it's, you know, apparently too old, which some of this probably is, but. So that's made most of my makeup, which I'll also show you lives in this little box. It's from a makeup thing I got like years ago. So all my makeup like lives in this box and my brushes live in this old cup. Yeah, so I think that's all things makeup. Couple last things uh, to end this tour. Uh, you, but I showed you my toothbrush, but you're like, Ashley, we're not toothpaste. Well, I recently switched over to Bite Toothy Tabs, and I would highly recommend them. Definitely takes a set, like takes a couple bites, I guess, uh, to get used to them. But I like them. The one thing I will say from that company, I also got their floss which I would not recommend um I tried it out once and it's just I have very sensitive gums and uh, my teeth especially on the bottom have moved a lot so it's just really difficult to slide in and out I did not like it I'm gonna try it again and see um but in the meantime I don't know why I have so much other floss so I'm just using that floss until it's gone um, but yeah, any, any sustainable floss that people can recommend, thanks. So those are my teeth, but what about my armpits? I don't know, this is the weirdest tour in the world. Native deodorant. Uh, it's a great um, 
deodorant paraben free, aluminum free, um, smells really good and is now plastic free and comes in these cardboard tubes. They also have a subscription service, which I forgot to delay. So I have a lot of deodorant, but that's okay. Cause I sweat a lot. I think the last thing are just hair products. So I got like dry, I want to do my own dry shampoo. So I got arrow, arrowroot powder. Maybe that's what it is to put in my hair and that like kind of worked, but I still have like a classic um, dry shampoo for when I'm really like on the go. But I did see that I think there's a company called Meow Meow Tweet that came out with a sustainable dry shampoo kind of deal. So I might try that one. But any other recommendations for dry shampoo, I would love to hear them. Um, I also, when I last got my hair cut, I really liked the hair oil she used. So I got that and it's a plastic bottle. It's probably not good for the planet, but you know, it keeps my hair less frizzy and I've also had it for like two months and that's how much I use. So at least it'll last me a really long time. And that's kind of like the counter point, I guess. The one other last thing would be skincare. Um, I have, it's better now, but I've always been very acne prone. And so I signed up for like uh, an acne skin um, prescription online. So I've been using that and it, it works for the most part. I don't know, it feels like it's pretty harsh on my skin. So if anyone has a, like a sustainable, pretty chill, natural alternative to skincare, uh, I'd love for you to drop that in the comments below. But yeah, so that's the video. Let me, let me find some better lighting. I don't know that it exists in here. Let me sit on the toilet. Anyway, so uh, that's the video. Thanks for coming along. Make sure if you liked this video or found it mildly entertaining, useful, educational, uh -uh, uh, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed for whenever I submit a video because clearly on the schedule is just not how I do things. <laughs> and I hope that this was useful. One of my big things that I'm really trying to convey on this channel is that you don't have to be perfect. It's all about baby steps. I'd say like 75% of my bathroom is eco-friendly, sustainable, secondhand, that kind of thing. But then the other 25%, a lot of it's like using what I already have and then maybe I'll find something later. Uh, and I think that's a big thing, especially with stuff in the bathroom, you know, if you're gonna switch to a shampoo bar, use up the shampoo in the bottle you have first. If you're gonna switch to a uh, cake mascara, make sure you use up your mascara first. Don't let it go to waste. Use up what you have and then maybe try something new. If you have any products that you would recommend, put them in the comments below. If you think you're gonna try any of the, the products that I recommended, please let me know. I love hearing that. Um, and then, oh, oh, what's the other thing? I don't remember. Oh! Hmm. Yeah, I think that's it. Alright, until next time. I won't probably include this, but I really like this top and I like the back. Doesn't my back look strong? It's not.